Hello guys, once again, welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to add an action view to the app bar. The action view brings more features for the application bar. For example, by placing a, a search action view on the app bar, the user can directly perform a search from the app bar itself without changing an activity or a fragment. So in this video here, I am going to show you how to place a search action view on the app bar. So here I already create an Android Studio project. So here I place an application bar or a toolbar. So for disabling the default action bar from this application here I made some changes inside the styles.xml. For the app theme here I made some changes on the parent. Here I change it into light.no action bar. This will simply remove the native action bar from this application. Now here I create a separate layout for the toolbar and here is the toolbar and inside activity main.xml uh, here I include the toolbar at the top of the layout and inside main activity.java here I create some variables for toolbar and initialize that variable and make that toolbar into set support action bar. So if you run the application uh, we will get a symbol app bar on the layout so here inside activity main.xml we place a symbol app bar so now we are going to add a search action view to this application bar <coughs> so for for adding the app bar we can follow the same procedures for adding a menu item to the app bar that means uh, we have to create a separate menu resource file for add the item for the action view so here I am going to create a separate resource. So create a new Android resource file. I name it as toolbar menu. So here the resource type is change the resource type into menu and click OK. So for the search view, uh, we need an icon. We need a search icon. So here I have a search icon. Now I am going to add the search icon into the Android Studio project. Uh, I place that search icon inside the mipmap folder. I place it inside the HTPI folder. Now here make a simple change on the icon name. It is IC search. Okay. So now we have the icon available inside the mipmap folder. So now we can add the item. So here we are going to place a search action view. So add a new item to this menu file. Uh, specify title for it. I specify the title as a search. Now specify an icon for it. So here the icon is IC search. Uh, now we can specify an ID for this item. So here I specify the ID as action search. Okay, so this is a search action view. So we have to specify an action view class. So before going to do that, here uh, we need some additional XML namespace. So I copy this statement. I change the identifier into app and here change this one into resource auto okay so by using the newly created XML namespace uh, we can use set this parameter show as action and here I use this uh, flag if room or collapse action view so here we use the uh, use the flag collapse action view the use of that one is uh, <coughs> if the user not interact with the action view it is simply display an icon a search icon and if the user uh, interact with the action view the particular action view expand and fill the entire toolbar so that is the use of this particular flag and if there is enough space available on the app bar uh, the search icon will be available on the app bar itself if there is no space available it will be available on the overflow menu uh, so now we can specify the action view class
so here is the action view class and so it support v7 with get search view this is the action view class for the uh, search action view okay so now the item is ready so now the uh, toolbar menu is ready now we can add the toolbar to the application bar for that go to main activity java and here you need to override one method called on create options menu so now we can inflate the menu so get menu inflator and call the inflate method r dot menu the file name is toolbar menu and second parameter is an object of menu so here we create our own menu so we have to return to from this method okay so now we can check the project so here i run the application so here there is a search action view is available on the app bar so if the user not interact with the action view uh, it is simply display an icon so here we have a symbol icon so if if i click the icon the particular action view expand all over the toolbar that is the use of the flag uh, the flag is collapse action view so that is the actual use of the flag so if the user uh, didn't interact with the action view it is simply display an icon and if the user clicked if the user start to interact with the action view it will fill the entire action and their and their app bar okay so now we successfully place <coughs> an action view to the app bar so now here i'm going to show you how to respond to the expand action of the action view so when when you click the uh, search icon uh, we, we you may have to load some fragment or an activity that means we have to respond to the expand action of the search action view so now here i'm going to show you how to do that in order to respond to the expand action of the action view you have to create a class that extend on action expand listener so now go back to main activity java so inside the on create options menu here i am going to create a class on action expand listener so go to new on action expand listener so here you need to implement the needed method so here you need to implement two method on menu item action expand and second one is on menu item action collapse so these are the two methods called by the android system when you expand or collapse an action view on the app bar okay so now uh, we can get the item so create some menu item object it is search item so menu dot call the find item r dot id it is action search okay so now we can register the listener the expand listener for this menu item so search item dot set on action expand listener into this one on action expand listener handler for that particular uh, listener so it is on action expand listener okay so when the user expand the action view uh, this method will be invoked and when the uh, particular action view collapse this method will be invoked so here i am going to simply display a message context is main activity dot this here this action view expanded I'll display the toast so in order to expand the action view you have to return to from this method so here also I'm going to display some message action view collapsed Here also in order to collapse the action view you have to return to from this method okay so now we can test it so run the project again so now here i'm going to expand the action view so here the action view is expanded now i'm going to collapse it 
So here the action view is collapsed. So this is how we respond to the uh, expand events of, of an action view. I hope you understand the concepts. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.